Hey, what's good? It's Coach Colin Castello with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Today, I've got three epic Kyrie Irving moves that you need to have in your bag. Irving pulls back between the legs, spins, falling away. It's up. It's good. All right, so Kyrie Irving is a master at manipulating the defense off of the catch and off of the dribble. So today what we're going to do is we're going to give you three simple moves that are absolutely devastating to pretty much any single defender. Now, make sure you watch to the end of the video because at the end I'm going to give you free access to a full Kyrie Irving killer crossover workout and I'm going to tell you how you can be one of three winners of a free pair of the Kyrie Irving lows from my guys over at East Bay. So, the very first move we're going to talk about is called a catch wrap. Now, a catch wrap is basically the idea that you're manipulating the defender on the catch. So you'll notice that Kyrie, as he's coming towards the ball, let's say a pass is coming this direction, he is a master at catching the pass and at the same time moving the defender one way or another. So the catch wrap is basically a catch and a behind the back all in one motion. And the reason why this works a lot is because the defender's kind of playing up the line, you know? So you can think about if I'm getting a pass from this direction, as the pass comes in, most of the time the defender's gonna try to steal it and they're gonna get up the line just like this, right? So as they try to defend me, they're coming up the line. Now that opens up a ton of space on the back side over here, right? So if you can get a quick move to get there, it's gonna make it a lot easier to attack and get that defender off balance and almost use their athleticism against them. So a catch wrap is basically as simple as this. As the ball's coming through, I'm gonna catch and I'm gonna plant on my opposite foot at the same time as I catch. So if I'm coming to my right, I'm gonna plant my left foot. If I'm coming to my left, I'm gonna plant my right foot. Now this is important that we keep this foot down, that way it's not gonna be a travel, right? If I go one, two, and then rock forward, they're gonna call that on me every single time. So on this catch, I'm planting my opposite foot at the exact same time as the catch, and then all in one motion, I'm wrapping the basketball behind my back and throwing it forward into a behind the back dribble. So the whole key with this is that we wanna have it fast, and we want to have it smooth, right? You want to have it kind of be all one motion. What I see with a lot of players is they'll come, you know, they'll catch, they might bring it to the center and then try to wrap, but by that time the defender's recovered and come back around to the other side. So this one we really want to try to keep it smooth, all one motion. So as I'm coming through, I'm catching right here and then all I'm doing is I'm planning, boom, attacking towards the middle. Now one other key that's going to help you out on this is you're probably going to do what we call a kick step out of that behind the back dribble. Meaning, as I catch the ball and I throw it behind my back, my feet are actually going to kick and replace. That way I can be ready to explode that same direction, right? A lot of players get twisted up, they throw it, they twist their hips, then they're off balance, they're at kind of a funky angle. So as we're throwing this behind the back, if we can kick step, it's going to throw us downhill and it's already going to get us attacking towards the basket from there. That way the defender has to react and you're going to get a good look out of it. So again, as the ball's coming through, make sure you're planting that back foot at the same time wrapping it around, kick step forward to go get it. Now one thing that's going to help you out here, think about slapping your opposite butt cheek on that behind the back. Because as you're coming here, if I don't slap that opposite butt cheek, I might make the behind the back go sideways, which can be okay if I'm trying to get like a separation three, but if my defender's playing up the line, that probably means that there's a lot of open space here in the middle, right? So if I wrap it around, I slap my opposite butt cheek, boom, that's gonna pop the ball straight forward and it's gonna get me in a straight attacking line. If you can do that, it's gonna make this move more effective. Oh, a sweet move from Kyrie Irving. All right, so the next move we've got is the spin shimmy. Now this is an awesome move to absolutely leave your defender in the dust and kind of make them look a little bit silly. So basically it all starts with a spin move going one direction or the other. Now if you watch Kyrie in this clip, what he's gonna do is he's gonna kind of attack towards the middle and he's actually going to use a spin move back towards the baseline. Now the whole key with this spin move is you want to keep it in the same hand the entire time. So if I'm coming out here with my right and I'm spinning, I want to keep it in my right and drop it right in between my legs or just a little bit off to my uh, right hand side. So the same side that I'm spinning on. So as I come through, I'm going to come, boom, drop it right here. Now with the spin move, a lot of times players will bounce and they'll switch hands in the spin move and that can work for sometimes. But for this specific move, we want to keep it in the same hand and we want to drop it right in between our legs. So, starts like this. Coming out here on attack on the spin. Ooh, I'm getting in here. I'm going to spin, pivot on my inside foot, and then drop it right in the middle. Now when I drop it and I get here, I'm going to shimmy my shoulders to the inside and almost just let the ball be suspended right here for a little bit. So as I drop it, I'm gonna shimmy opposite and the ball's just gonna kinda suspend up in the air off that bounce. 
Now off of that bounce and off of that shoulder shimmy, now I'm gonna catch it with my opposite hand. So I went right, drop, now I'm gonna catch it with my left and I'm going to attack out of this direction going towards the hoop. Now you'll notice in this clip, Kyrie Irving is gonna take a pull up, pull up jumper out of it, but you can take whatever you want. What you're gonna notice is when you toss somebody up, you're probably gonna have a nice angle to attack directly towards the basket out of it. So don't be afraid to get to the hoop on this one because you're probably gonna get a pretty good attack angle. Now, one thing to keep in mind, tempo is super important on this move. If you do the whole thing super fast, it's not gonna be as effective. If you watch Kyrie when he's coming out here and he's hitting it, he's going fast and once he hits, he kind of takes like a little slow down and then a really fast shimmy and then an explosive movement out of it, right? So if you can kind of go that fast to slow to fast, that's gonna help make it more uh, aggressive, more potent, and it's gonna get the defender sliding out of your way on that shimmy, right? Because as soon as you throw those shoulders, you're gonna slide up the lane, open up a spot for you. All right, Stevens going with a combination of two big men, four through, four through. All right, so the next move we've got is called the open crossover. Now, this is one that's actually really simple, but maybe one of the most effective moves that Kyrie Irving uses over and over again. Now, it's basically just you're going from kind of a slow moving stationary spot to attacking quickly out of a crossover. So it looks like this. Basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna start kind of at the outside line. You can have it in your inside hand or your outside hand or your inside hand. You can do this move either way, right? So for this one, all you're doing is, you know, let's say you're setting up your offense, you've backed it out, you think you don't have anything, but your defender's starting to creep out on you. With an open crossover, basically all we're doing is we're taking our chest angle from the hoop to the opposite sideline and we're gonna drop at the same time. So as I'm, I'm backing it out here, I'm going to drop, switch my chest angle, open up, and hover my hand on top of the ball right here. So basically when I do this, that's gonna force the defender to come up the lane just a little bit and it's gonna open this direction to right, directly towards the basket, right? So as I'm, I'm backing it out, I'm going here, I'm dropping just like this, chest to the opposite sideline, selling it with my head and eyes, defender slides up and then now I can push or cross over low depending on where they're at, boom, attack in that straight line. So it's really good to kind of lull your defender asleep, right? They think you're backing it out, you don't have anything, oh, and then you're going, quick out of it. So slow to fast is the tempo that's really, really gonna sell this one. You also notice this move works really, really well if you've got a pick and roll coming. So let's say I'm a point guard, I've bounced out, I can say, hey, 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 I can call for a screen, and as soon as my screener starts coming over, huh, they think I'm going off of it, exploding, exploding the exact opposite direction, right? Again, with most of these Kyrie moves, we get the defender sliding or moving first, then it's gonna be much, much more effective. So keys to this one, number one, it's gotta be that slow to fast tempo like I talked about. Number two, we wanna drop our hips and load our back foot. So as soon as you come out here and you're dropping, I wanna keep this back foot loaded and I wanna to try to stay on the balls of my feet as soon as I'm dropping. That way I can already be loaded to push and explode off of it, right? If I back it out and I go high right here, to be able to explode, I've gotta reload and then go and it's gonna be slower, probably isn't gonna be as effective, right? So think about back it out, drop, Back leg loaded, boom, fire out of it, going towards the basket. All right, so if you want your free Kyrie Irving Killer Crossover workout, all you gotta do is click the top link in the description down below and join our East Bay Virtual Training Center where we'll be giving out three pairs of the Kyrie Irving 4 Lows at the end of the month. And we're gonna be announcing it inside of that Virtual Training Center. So make sure you sign up and check it out. That way you know if you win. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and then hit the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you wanna see next. This is channel for the people, by the people, and we run pretty much everything off our quest. So leave it down below and hopefully we get to it. Again, my name is Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching. Until next time, splash on. Hey, what's good, Coach?